Good morning, everybody. JT coming to you with Support Local, LKN. Uh, I got a big grin on my face this morning because we have been in a very special establishment for about an hour now. Uh, we're back down here at Main Street in Mooresville, uh, right across the street from uh, Welcome Home Veterans, Richard's Coffee Shop, that neck of the woods. We are currently standing inside Four Corners Framing and Gallery. Uh, we are here with the owner. Uh, we're here with Kim Saragoni. Kim, thank you so much for having us thank down. Thank you. Glad to have you guys. Absolutely. I've got to say, I am totally geeked up on your store. This, this is truly incredible. Um, I would imagine many people that have known Main Street in Mooresville, they, they hear about a framing company in Mooresville, and they, they have this, this, I guess, misconception in a way. Yes. It's just framing and nothing more. And I hope it's coming through on video because right now this is an amazing business that you have. Tell us a little bit about what Four Corners Framing and Gallery is all about. So 14 years on Main Street, this is our fourth home. We grew into this space, luckily. Uh, frame Shop is fantastic. We decided to build out an art gallery and after the art gallery built came the venue option. So we are three businesses under one roof. Um, the gallery is flex, all the walls, the interior walls move. So we can push everything out of the way and set tables and chairs for a rehearsal dinner. We can do digital media with the drop down screen and the projector. So we've done um, uh, film releases and documentary film, uh, rented for a birthday party. We've had a wedding hosted here. The art is all local and regional artists. They set the price for it. There's a commission split, amazing talent in the area. So we work with lots of designers and People make their way in here for framing and find a piece of art that they land on and they love. Right. And the frame shop is putting out 200 feet of wood a week, if not more, even during COVID. And that's in-house? In-house, right. all done in-house. Saws, guillotine choppers, manual labor, cutting glass, doing custom bathroom mirrors for home builders, uh, preserving everybody's memories. So right. good stuff happening. We, we came in here with the, with the idea of, you know, obviously the, the framing portion, uh, the gallery portion, but it almost needs to be and, 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 I and, know, because this facility is so wonderful. You've got so many different ways that you can turn this into any number of, of different venues. Um, again, I hope it comes through on camera, because this is something that everybody has to check out. And we're down here, it's Saturday morning right now. Um, anybody that may be walking the streets, again, first thing I gotta encourage you to do, if you haven't been to downtown, in, uh, downtown Main Street in Mooresville in the, in the last, say, even six months, uh, instead of just walking down the street, Find the businesses that are open. Go inside those businesses. Because I gotta say, this smile on my face is genuine. I walked in this place, I never would have imagined, Kim, this would look anything like it did. Uh, the passion you have behind the business is really second to none. And just the diversity that you have, even right here in your own space. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Tell us a little bit though, you're not just a business owner here, you also wear kind of numerous hats within the community. I, I've always believed that if you serve your community, it will serve you back. Um, and as a small business owner, if you get involved and you reach out and see how you can be part of growth and solutions and amazing process and progress in your little community, um, people know you. They learn what your product line is. They come and serve you. So I have served on the Morseville Downtown Commission Board 13 of my 14 years in town. Currently, I sit as the chair. Um, I also serve moving into the board again of the Morseville Lake Home and Exchange Club which is a huge community service outreach, partnering with the town, uh, partnering with the local business to really drive Americanism, youth, community service, and child abuse prevention within Morseville Lake Norman area. Um, you know, you just, you have to get involved. And if you are really truly in it, then step out your front door. Um, you can get locked in your business and you, you don't step out. But when you do, it brings more business in. So if I can encourage all my business neighbors to be part of your community and it will come back to you. Um, it, it's just, it's amazing to be in downtown, the growth, the development, the lovely boutique businesses that are opening, the bravery of some of the independent people that are coming in and trying to stake their claim. We're so excited about all of it. Come down to downtown, open the doors, walk in, meet the businesses, meet the people, um, get involved. Absolutely. And, and I've got to say, you, you know, you've been a, a staple here for several years now in, in a couple different locations. Yes. So this is our fourth home in a block and a half in 14 years. I've seen 100 businesses come and go, some because they didn't get rich quick, some because they got so big they had to relocate into a better space. 
Um, downtown is unique because it is cultural and it is confined within these old buildings. And so um, there's niches for everybody, but the 14 years, downtown has changed tremendously. Um, we have a long way to go, but we've come a long way. Right, and it's, it's probably, and I've said this too, having been down here for well over a decade myself, um, you know, this is probably the best that I think I've ever seen the downtown yeah, area look, and, and just as far as where the downtown area is going, uh, it's on a wonderful track right now. I know you touched a little bit about the local artists that you carry in here. Um, tell us a little bit about the custom framing segment of what you offer. So the custom framing is really the majority of what we do here in our business, and it is intensive manufacturing. We are cutting raw wood, um, joining, gluing, stapling, nailing, stretching. I mean, we we go through a box of band-aids a month. I mean, we're you know hardworking women that are manufacturing product here. Um, so in the daytime, this shop is loud and noisy and cranking, and we love that. We're very physically active here. This is a strenuous job. We're lifting cases of glass and mirror and lots of wood, um, and the products that go out the front door are just incredible. We preserve people's memories. We frame things that we never dreamed would come in the door. Um, uh, lots of emotion at that counter there for people bringing things that belong to, you know, a, a period of their life or a person that they were close to. We work with the funeral homes so that when people come in and they've got 24 hours to prepare the funeral with images and photography and, and uh, we're on it. Right. Um, a lot of really cool stuff comes out of here. Everything has a story that comes to that counter. And you actually, not only that, but even even when people have, they have damaged products and things like yeah. that, I know we were looking at a piece that you're currently working on earlier. Um, you know, it was damaged, somebody brought it to you and said, hey, what are my options with this? You've got a little bit of an upcycle kind of. We do, we, so much so that we actually created a new business sticker. We labeled the back of all of our custom framing orders with our information on it, but we were getting product in here that was what we call upcycle, rehab, but we're in a DIY community. Um, so we didn't want to put a sticker out that said this is all our product, but we did want to advertise the fact that we are part of your process for DIY. If you find an old frame somewhere that you want to reuse, you want to paint it, we'll install your artwork back into it. We have a computerized mat cutter that can custom cut mats to any shape, size, you know, so the variable, typically we build a framing order from the artwork out, and so the size flows with however big your artwork is right. and what your choices are. But when you buy a frame and bring it to me, I'm building from the outside in. So the variable has to become the mat or the float or liners or whatever else we do. So depending on your budget and the value system you put on the piece that you bring to us, we give you A to Z and you get to decide. And we can certainly get it on the wall. Right. And you even break down even like fabric. It's not oh, all yes. just print. Oh, yeah. it's, no, no. it's other medias too. So we stretch canvas here. So when we build strainer stock to stretch a canvas painting on, we have found that in the design world, we can actually take upholstery fabric or decorative fabric and stretch it in order to create um, ar architectural elements in rooms. We can do headboards, and that's at a minimal cost. So you can rip that fabric up in two years when you redo your room and change it out. So have it going all, all yeah, in a new direction, right? Yeah, you know, we're girls with tools. I, I have to say, you know, for anyone that, that has not had the opportunity to come down here, again, Main Street in Mooresville, uh, please come down and check this out. What kind of hours do you have actually going so forward? So currently right we're at 10 to 4, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 3, Saturdays. We do take appointments. I live very nearby, so it's not going to pop in here on a Sunday or a Monday. We're a small business, so we're very accommodating. What's the best way for them to get in touch with you? They just so you, you, can, right? you can call us, 704-662-7154. We're at www.fcfgframing.com. Um, or walk in the door. Absolutely, and I highly, highly encourage everybody, please come walk through this door. Uh, of the businesses that we've done in the downtown area, you will not believe the changes that are taking shape in the downtown area of Mooresville. Please look and see what businesses are open. We'll be glad to, again, as we always do with all of our videos, post all of Kim's information uh, for her business as well. Come through the door, all right? Give a look at what these businesses are all about because I have to say, uh, this, this smile on my face is more than genuine. You will be blown away when you walk into some of these places, Kim's in particular. Uh, and Kim, thank you so very much. You, you've opened our eyes uh, to, to something it. that we've never known has existed down here. Well, we host 35 artists in the gallery. Some of them may be your neighbors, so stop in and take a look. You're, there's no obligation here. This is a gallery you can come and sit for a half an hour and just enjoy it. Um, stop in and, and take a look. And I promise
promise you, you'll enjoy it in a half hour and we'll do it justice. So you better plan on at least an hour to see everything that, that Kim has down here. Uh, again, down in Four Corners Framing and Gallery, uh, Main Street in Mooresville. Please come down and check Kim's business out. This is a wonderful, wonderful space. You've got to see it to believe it. Uh, again, thank you for joining us with the video. We'll be coming to you with another live video here very shortly. Uh, hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. Look forward to seeing you out here down, downtown on Main Street in Mooresville. Have a great one, everybody. Take thank care. You.